Hello guys, I'd like to um, explain um, how to power up your Ardu Pilot 2.5 uh, plus unit. Now, before I start, I'd like to point out this is the um, uh, kit or set that uh, has the already soldered board uh, with all the pins in a case. It comes with its own uh, power module, it comes with an upgraded uh, GPS and a little uh, jumper. I'll explain what the jumper is for. Uh, this is just my RC receiver I put there so that you know that this is the uh, input side. This is the output end where your ESCs go or your servos in case you're using a craft that has servos like a tricopter and uh, this is the uh, part with the pins for the gimbal and so. Uh, note here you have the telemetry port you also have the PM, that's the port for the power module that's connected there. That's the reset button, that's for the GPS. Now note this little uh, JP1 uh, pair of pins. That's where these jumpers are used, if you're going to use them. Now, again, let me just point out, this unit is powered by 5 volts. All it needs is 5 volts, and that's to power the unit itself. And the receiver takes power from it, the GPS takes power from it. Now, if you have this power module that comes with the set, do not use the jumper, the JP1 jumper. I repeat, do not use the JP jumper. The JP jumper is essentially a bridge that joins the two separate uh, circuits, if you may, in the board. Now, to explain it further, just imagine the board is divided in two, exactly with a line across there. This part has a separate circuit on its own, and this part has a separate circuit on its own. If you attach the jumper, or place the jumper in the JP1, you're joining this part with this part. Hence, you don't want to supply 5 volts there on that part and 5 volts from the power module and make them uh, join together. Now, my power module is with the XT6 uh, uh, connector. That's what my LiPos, all my LiPos have and that's why I chose that connector otherwise you can get it with the Dean's connectors I believe and here you can see the power module which is uh, a kind of a switching uh, I think it's a switching regulator they said that supplies a clean 5 volts into the unit and that 5 volts is now shared uh, supplied to your RC and your GPS it provides a clean 5 volt power source it also powers the telemetry if you have the telemetry set. Now, the output uh, side is where you connect your ESCs, your um, electronic uh, uh, speed uh, controls, and your uh, servos in case you're using a craft, like I'm having a tricopter with a servo which controls the yaw. In this case, the ESCs supply 5 volts also to this side. Now, I wouldn't want to use the jumper so that 5 volts from that side does not meet up with the 5 volts for the other side. That's why I repeat, you do not use the jumper if you have the power module. Now, you may not have this power module. In that case, I just try to take it out anyway. You don't use it and you can supply the whole module by the 5 volts that come from the ESCs. In that case, you will need this jumper to transfer the 5 volts on this section of the circuit over to this section of the circuit. Uh, some people do that, it just it works, but I want to supply my board with a clean, dedicated 5 volt source uh, to avoid uh, crashes and uh, brownouts, as they call it. So, uh, this is just an overview about power supply to your. Um, uh, 
Ardu uh, pilot board. It is explained in the wiki, but it can be very, very confusing. Uh, hence, I decided to make a short video so you can uh, get it sorted in a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.